we got the CA glue, a little bit of a mess for me to tell you the truth, but I got it glued up. So, now that we have that done, we're going to install the wing, and then put the tail section on. We're going to put this on to align the tail section apparently. So, I'll screw this on and we'll come back and we'll work on the tail. There we go. That. Now the bottom wing on the airplane. Yay! Okay, so we're going to set it here again. It's just a little wide for this. Let's have some foam in here that hold it square. Okay. And now the tail section. The top and the bottom, because the top has the white on it. Right? So it says we're going to put it there. And we're going to measure this tip to that tip. Oh. I want you to take the elevator while you're doing this out. So, we will. Okay. So, we'll do the measurements. And, they want to make sure that it's square, in case you got to sand one of these sides down. So, what we'll do here, is we'll mark it. And, Take some measurements. Oh boy. Okay. I don't know if you guys can see this whole thing. I move that that way a bit. Is that better? Maybe. Oops. All shaky around. Okay, so we we'll measure from here. Well, this is gonna be tough. We'll make sure this looks like it's in the center, doesn't it? We'll go from here. I don't know. I'll take it from that spot. That'll be easier. That spot. Wow, it's exactly 59. So, I'm gonna turn this real gingerly so I can squeeze over here and measure what it is. Fine, from there. Fifty-seven. Ooh. See? Okay. I'll be right back. They say to tape this on, so I'm going to tape my tail on. Where I think it's in the center here by looking at this line in the bottom. And then we'll do the measurements. Well. I'll let you know. Excessive measuring and taping and measuring and moving. And it doesn't look straight. But it's square, it measures that. So now they want you to turn it over. They've got quite security tape down here. And um, prepare it, prepare it for cutting. So, draw a line here on each side. I don't think that's going to show up. I don't think it'll show up enough. No, I won't be able to see it. Okay. If you try green, maybe. It won't be as noticeable as black. I know that I just have to cut 
inside this line so that we can get the wood from the tail section here to touch the bottom. Oh, all that measuring and all this taping. Now I just take it all off. Scares me. There we go. There we go. Oh man, you see what I'm doing here? Okay, again. Take a knife. Man. A little lightly. And we'll cut into the wood. the monocoat but not cut through the wood and I tell you it's only what 30 seconds of the edge of the tip okay well there's no wood across the top here so I can just cut this out here hope and one nice piece we get the bottom coat off Sure likes to stick back down. Okay, so I'm gonna test this. Let's see, it's gonna fit. Oh the back, I took too much off the back. Oh well. We'll make it work. We will make it work. But this, this. It's going to get epoxied on, right? Okay, and it says that after we epoxy this on, it has to sit. But before I do that, I want to look here. It's pretty square. It's pretty square. Anyways, so we'll set that on there, right? And we'll glue that on, and then I'll start another video because after that we're gonna put the rudder on, the vertical stabilizer. Oh, and then after that we're gonna mount the other top wing. Then. I'll be mounting all this stuff and hooking it all up. <sighs> I haven't ran any control rods yet. Very interesting. Oh well, we'll wait and see what the instructions say when I get to do that. But honestly, I would have liked to have put these parts in already. Maybe we'll just stop and I'll install some electronics. Get the servos in before I even glue this on. I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to put some... I'm going to take the wing off again and I'm going to put the elevator servo in. And I'll put the um, ailerons and router servos in as well, all three of them. I'll get them all mounted up. 
But that will be in the next video. For now, we'll leave it at this.